I'm reading these scriptures to you. Whenever you hear the word of God, your faith grows as it is written in Romans chapter 10 verse 17. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. When one has faith, nothing is impossible. If we have faith, we are able to conquer any kind of sickness. Because Mark chapter 9 verse 23 says, Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. When you listen to these scriptures, believe and receive your healing through the word of God. Psalms 109, 19-20 Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them out of their distresses. He sent his word and healed them, and delivered them from their destructions. Psalms 30, verse 2 O Lord my God, I cried out to you, and you healed me. Psalms 41, 2-3 The Lord will preserve him, and keep him alive, and he will be blessed on the earth. You will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him on his sickbed of illness. You will sustain him on his sickbed. Psalms 147.3 He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalms 23.1-6 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalms 91 verse 1 to 16. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him I will trust. Surely He shall deliver you from the snare of the fowl and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with His feathers, and under His wings you shall take refuge. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid of the terror by night, nor of the arrow that flies by day, nor of the pestilence that walks in darkness, nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. Only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked, because you have made the Lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you, to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against a stone. You shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent you shall trample underfoot, because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high, because he has known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Luke 17, 14. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourselves to the priest. And so it was that as they went, they were cleansed. 
Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart, for they are life to those who find them and health to all their flesh. Luke 13, 10 to 13. On a Sabbath, Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues and a woman was there who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called her forward and said to her, Woman, you are set free from your infirmity. Then he put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Luke 4, 18 to 19. The Spirit of the Lord is on me because he has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the prisoners and recovery of sight for the blind, to set the oppressed free. Isaiah 58, 6. Is this not the first that I have chosen to loose the bonds of the wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that you break every yoke? 3 John 1, verse 2. Beloved, I pray that you may prosper in all things and be in health, just as your soul prospers. Matthew 9, 27 to 30. When Jesus departed from there, two blind men followed him, crying out and saying, Son of David, have mercy on us. And when he had come into the house, the blind men came to him. And Jesus said to them, do you believe that I am able to do this? They said to him, Yes, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. And their eyes were opened. And Jesus sternly warned them, saying, See that no one knows it. Proverbs 4, 20-27 My son, give attention to my words. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are alive to those who find them and held to all their flesh. Keep your heart with all diligence, for out of it springs the issues of life. Put away from you a deceitful mouth and put perverse lips far from you. Let your eyes look straight ahead and your eyelids look right before you. Ponder the path of your feet and let all your ways be established. Do not turn to the right or to the left. Remove your foot from evil. Luke 8, 41 to 45. And behold, there came a man named Jairus, and he was a ruler of the synagogue. And he fell down at Jesus' feet and begged him to come to his house. For he had an only daughter, about twelve years of age, and she was dying. But as he went, the multitude thronged him. Now a woman having a flow of blood for twelve years, who had spent all her livelihood on physicians and could not be healed by any, came from behind and touched the border of his garment. And immediately her flow of blood stopped. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him said, Master, the multitude throng and press you. And you say, Who touched me? Mark 16, 17 to 18. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak with new tongues, they will take up serpents, and if they drink anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. James 5, 14-16 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church 
and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Confess your trespass to one another and pray for one another that you may be healed. The effective, fervent prayer of a righteous man avails much. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19 I call heaven and earth as witness today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Jeremiah 30 17 For I will restore health to you and heal you of all your wounds says the Lord because they called you an outcast saying this is Zion no one seeks her. Deuteronomy 30 15 See I have said before you today life and good, death and evil, in that I command you today to love the Lord your God. 1 Peter 2.24 He himself bore our sins in his body on the cross, so that we might die to sins and live for righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Exodus 15 26. He said, If you listen carefully to the Lord your God and do what is right in his eyes, if you pay attention to his commands and keep all his decrees, I will not bring on you any of the diseases I brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Luke 4 14. When the sun was setting, all those who had any that were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Luke 6, 19 And the whole multitude sought to touch him, for power went out from him and healed them all. Matthew eight seventeen that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet, saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our sicknesses. Jeremiah 33, 6 Nevertheless, I will bring health and healing to you. I will heal my people and will let them enjoy abundant peace and security. Matthew 15, 30. Great crowds came to him, bringing the lamb, the blind, the crippled, the mute, and many others, and laid them at his feet, and he healed them. Psalms 18:30. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is proven. He is a shield to all who trust him. Psalms 25, 3 Indeed, let no one who waits on you be ashamed. Let those be ashamed who deal treacherously without cause. Psalms 34, 17 The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears, and delivers them out of all their troubles. Psalms 54, 22. Cast your burdens on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. Psalms 57, 1. Be merciful to me, O God. Be merciful to me. For my soul trusts in you, and in the shadow of your wings I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. Psalms 86, 7 In the day of my trouble, I will call upon you, for you will answer me. Psalms 112, 7 
he will not be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is steadfast, trusting in the Lord. Psalms 116, 8-9 For you have delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, and my feet from falling. Psalms 119, 15 I will meditate on your precepts and contemplate your ways. I will delight myself in your statutes. I will not forget your word. Deal bountifully with your servant that I may live and keep your word. Romans 8, 13 For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. But if by the spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. Matthew 21, 22. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing, you will receive. 1 John 4, verse 4. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them, because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Romans 10, 17. So then, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Mark 9, 23. Jesus said to him, If you can believe, all things are possible to him who believes. Psalms 118, 8-9 It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in men. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Matthew 13, 58 Now he did not do many mighty works there because of their unbelief. Psalms 118, 17 I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. Luke 1, 38. For with God nothing will be impossible. Then Mary said, Behold the maid servant of the Lord. Let it be to me according to your word. And the angel departed from her. Acts 10:34. Then Peter opened his mouth and said, In truth I perceive that God shows no partiality. Ephesians 3.20 Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. John 10.10 10. The thief does not come except to steal and to kill and to destroy. But I have come that they may have life and that they may have it more abundantly. Luke 11, 9 to 13. So I say to you, ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock and it will be opened to you. For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds, and to him who knocks it will be opened. If a son asks for bread from any father among you, will he give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, will he give him a serpent instead of a fish? Or if he asks for an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? Mark 11, 22-24 So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God, for assuredly I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes 
that those things he says will be done. He will have whatever he says. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. Mark 10, 47. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Proverbs 7, 1 to 3. My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and my law is the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers. Write them on the tablets of your heart. Romans 12, 12. Rejoicing in hope, patient in tribulation, continuing steadfastly in prayer. Jeremiah 29, 11 to 14. For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me. When you search for me with all your heart, I will be found by you, says the Lord. And I will bring you back from your captivity. I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord. And I will bring you to a place. And I will bring you to the place from which I cause you to be carried away captive. Jeremiah 1, 12. Then the Lord said to me, You have seen well, for I am ready to perform my word. Isaiah 57, 18. I have seen his ways and will heal him. I will also lead him and restore comforts to him and to his mourners. Isaiah 54, 17 to 18. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. And every tongue which rises against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Isaiah 45, 22-23 Look to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth. For I am God, there is no other. I have sworn by myself. The word has gone out of my mouth in righteousness and shall not return that to me every knee shall bow, every tongue shall take an oath. Proverbs 4.10 Listen, my son, accept what I say, and the years of your life will be many. Proverbs 3.1-2 My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart. For they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Psalms 145, 13. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all his promises and faithful in all he does. 1 John 5, 18. We know that anyone born of God does not continue to sin. The one who was born of God keeps them safe, and the evil one cannot harm them. 1 John 5, 4 For everyone born of God overcomes the world. This is the victory that has overcome the world, even our faith. 1 John 5, 14 this is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 1 John 3, 8 The one who does what is sinful is of the devil. 
because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. Psalms 30 verse 8 To you, Lord, I called. To the Lord I cried for mercy. Exodus 23, 25 Worship the Lord your God and his blessing will be on your food and water. I will take away sickness from among you. Romans 2, 11 For God does not show favoritism. Hebrews 10, 23 Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. Isaiah 43, 5 Fear not, for I am with you. I will bring your descendants from the east and gather you from the west. Isaiah 49, 5 And now the Lord says, Who formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, so that Israel is gathered to him. For I shall be glorious in the eyes of the Lord, and my God shall be my strength. Isaiah 43, 1-2 But now, thus says the Lord who created you, O Jacob, and he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burnt, nor shall the flame scorch you. Psalms 41 verse 1 to 13 Blessed is he who considers the poor. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he will be blessed on the earth. You will not deliver him to the will of his enemies. The Lord will strengthen him on his bed of illness. You will sustain him on his sickbed. I said, Lord, be merciful to me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. My enemies speak evil of me. When will he die and his name perish? And if he comes to me, he speaks lies. His heart gathers iniquity to itself. When he goes out, he tells it. All who hate me whisper together against me. Against me they devise my hurt. An evil disease, they say, clings to him. And now that he lies down, he will rise up no more. Even my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, who ate my bread, has lifted up his heel against me. But you, O oh Lord, be merciful to me and raise me up, that I may repay them. By this I know that you are well pleased with me, because my enemy does not triumph over me. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel from everlasting to everlasting. Amen and Amen.